everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the base settings for streaming and recording on your macOS device. Now, the last time I made this video was about two years ago, and I thought why not make to make an update video of this, because obviously you can see that I'm no longer using Streamlabs OBS, I'm actually using OBS. Now the reason why I'm using OBS is because OBS has more integration for macOS users. So for example, you can now actually capture your desktop audio, which means you can actually now basically play music in your streams and so much more without installing any weird software, which you had to previously do because obviously there was no other way. So I do recommend OBS a lot. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing all the things that I use for my streaming on Twitch and my second channel, which obviously these things are pretty useful and I had no issues with these things. I actually had to fine tune and just try find eventually the best things that I can recommend. Now I don't want to know these things are mostly working on M chip devices. So if you do have an older Mac device, I'm not too sure if these things will work on your system, but you can still try these things on your system as well. Now the main things we're gonna be focusing mostly on is output and video. With OBS, you can do more customization with your appearances and all that. And going to stream, I'll see this is where you're going to put your main stream destination. I'm going to up it. My output mode is on advanced, and there's a reason why. So go into your streaming settings, go to your video encoder, and make sure this is on Apple VT H264 hardware encoder. Now, the reason why I recommend this encoder is not only does it give you a stable stream for when you stream on Twitch or YouTube, but also it allows you to basically use other software while you are streaming. So if you are going to be streaming with this video encoder, you can also play some music in the background. If you have a few browsers open for if you're wanting to react with your viewers. This is going to be the best thing to use when it comes to using it for macOS devices. Now going to encoder settings, with rate control I recommend CBR, there's no reason why, it's just CBR is actually very useful. Now bit rate will also depend on your internet speeds. So for me, I do have high internet speeds, but if you do have, let's say 50 megabytes per second or more, then 8000 kilobits per second will be a good one to go for with your bit rate. And so it's also very useful for when you do multi-streaming. Now, keyframe interval, this is something that I've actually seen a lot with a lot of tutorials on YouTube. Because obviously I've been playing around with so many settings and I eventually found base settings. Now with most people, what they say is to put on two. I actually had so many bad experiences having on two. But when I put on zero, I had basically no drop frames or anything like that. So I don't know why people say that, but having on zero will be a big help for a lot of macOS users. Now profile, I put on main because you don't want to obviously use too much processing power on your OBS, otherwise it just makes your stream very laggy and you can lose the stream pretty quickly. Now going to video, obviously this is mostly just for your display. I keep it on 1080p for both because well, when you're streaming on Twitch, there is no way you're gonna be really streaming 4K. Twitch does not support that unless you're gonna be streaming on YouTube, which does support 4K streaming. But if you're gonna be streaming on Twitch, these are the best things to use. Now with common frames per second, 60 is going to be the best for gaming, but if you are going to be doing more RRL streams and reacts, 30 frames will be the best to go for. But always, that's everything you need to know for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a tutorial of how to do virtual recording with OBS and multi-streaming, because obviously most people want to know that, and not everyone knows how to do it. But always, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.